Many surgical procedures once requiring a hospital stay are now done at ambulatory surgical centers, or ASCs. CDC has been working closely with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to update and help incorporate infection control into the conditions for participation for various health care facilities in the Medicare program. Using an infection control checklist developed by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, state surveyors randomly inspected centers in Maryland, North Carolina, and Oklahoma. They focused on five categories, hand washing, injection and medication safety, equipment cleaning and disinfecting, surface cleaning, and handling of blood glucose monitoring equipment. We found that two-thirds, or, or about 67% of facilities had at least one lapse in infection control. Dr. Melissa Schaefer from the CDC and co-authors studied data collected from 68 CMS-certified ambulatory surgical centers. The inspections were completed between June and October 2008. 28% of facilities were using medications that are packaged and labeled for single patient use for multiple patients. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. 28% of the facilities um, had lapses in their reprocessing of equipment and uh, about 46% of facilities that were doing blood glucose monitoring or, or diabetic testing um, had lapses in handling of the equipment. The study also found that 19% of the centers had lapses in cleaning surfaces and operating areas after patient procedures. The study is important because it's really the first time that we've, in a, in a systematic fashion, looked at infection control practices um, in ambulatory surgery centers. And I think it gives us a peek at you know, what's going on in these facilities and what we need to do to make things better and safer for patients. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.